All right, so the first thing we need to know is just we need a scene, basically. So I'm going to set up a small scene in here to kind of teach you lighting. It's going to be something really stupid basic because that's how we learn. Okay, so six on the keyboard. So this video is just about all about setting up the scene and where to go from there. Okay, so I'm going to make this box. Here, here's an important fact about lights. Uh, if you see this grid here, all the lighting defaulted to Maya have um, a lot to do with that default grid size. If I get something outside the grid size and I start showing you lights, I'm going to have to ramp up a lot of the properties on lights in order to take effect because anything outside this grid is not default. So when I make a basic light and it stays within this grid, the, all the geometry, it's going to light very well and it's going to light very well because it's at the default size. Scene size has a lot to do with the actual lighting size and the attributes of light. So just kind of know that if, you, if you, you're new to lights, stay within the grid and you'll be all right. So I'm going to set up a little stage here. And what's important about this is uh, lights also play a fact that it needs normals in order to operate. So if you look at here, if you look at the normals, display, polygon, face normals, you'll see that the face normals, well, hold on, one more try there. Let's go into object mode. Display, polygons, face normals. You'll see that the normals are facing out. Well, light's going to see that too, and it's not going to use the normals in the correct way. So what we're going to do is reverse them. Okay. Now when light goes, it can bounce off these surfaces. All right. Now let's just throw some primitives down and just have some fun. And I, I don't want any, any editing done. I just want, you know, the fact that you got a whole bunch of little blocks and goofy stuff. It's important not to uh, get bogged down with the whole fact that you're trying to learn two things at once. You know, if you're learning lights, fine. Learn lights. Don't learn lights and modeling at the same time. Take a break from modeling for a little bit. Just throw some primitives down. Hmm, what else? Oh yeah, there is polygon primitives, and check these out. We got all kinds of cool stuff. We got a helix. Ooh, helix. This is probably one of the one things I will change though, because helixes are cool. But if helixes have this little property on them that make them even more cool, and that's the width ratio. Nope, not the width. I know it's one of these. Uh, da, 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 da. Coil caps, subdivisions, radius maybe. Yeah, that's it, radius. Okay, so now I got this cool spring. And I can up the polygons on it if I wanted to. To make it really super smooth. And up the subdivision axes to make it even more smooth. So there I got this super smooth springy thing in there. All right, and let's see what else we got. Create polygon primitives, pipe pyramid prism. Oh, yeah, one of those. That's the thing the art teacher was just so so proud of when they, we had to try to sketch stuff. He's like, "Yeah, I'm going to throw a prism up there. It's going to be so cool, freaking heavy. I love it." All right, there we go. So nice little um, just clustering of weird oddity things. And now that we have our scene set up, let's now set up some other stuff in the next video.